up, folks? Main man, Lucky Lance Room. <clears throat> Cruel Ponds in mid range. Hope you guys are excited for it, and I know I am for the time being. I'm also awake for the time being. I'll let you all know what I mean by that. But like I said, my name's Lance Brown. Probably my screen name is Major Riot. That's Major underscore Riot underscore. That is my screen name on Twitch, YouTube, MTGO, MTGA, and Twitter. So you watch this on Twitch, please sir follow. Watch this on YouTube, please sir subscribing. Give this video a thumbs up. You can always follow me on Twitter too for Bluebird action and unknown reasons. Uh, but, uh,. Yeah, that's right. Follow Major Right on Twitch and Twitter. Or subscribe to Major Right on YouTube for the low, low cost of free. Don't delay. Do it now for a guaranteed outburst of rage, confusion, even sometimes joy. I always have this disclaimer, though, just in case. I am not responsible for sudden increase in top deck only lands, being wrecked by a ragavan, or being unable to find your sideboard cards. That starts happening to you. It has nothing to do with me. Gotta let you all know there. But, of course, as you can tell, I do enjoy playing Magic the Gathering, although to watch my videos, you would never know that. And, uh... You know, when I play Magic, I do prefer to play Modern. When I play Modern, I prefer to play Gruel Ponds and Midrange, which you're looking at right here. This is my favorite deck. It's the deck I've had the most success with, both in paper and in digital. And it's the deck you'll likely see me playing. Certainly playing it today, playing the rest of the week, and playing it next week as I prepare myself for multiple RCQs uh, with this deck. You know, so, yeah. Um, get hyped for that. Let's take a look at the weather. It's a beautiful day out there. It is a nice sunny spring day yesterday was a pouring down spring day uh weather for raven tokens are fair with a temperature of 58 degrees the wind is blowing from the north northwest at seven miles per hour and the humidity is 53 percent so there you go weather with major riot it is nice out there i should be out there then here it is a little chilly though you gotta have a little coat on uh well yeah let's see here we are still at 41 followers on Twitter. We did go up one follower on Twitch, I believe. I, I think it says 305, even though I don't know how it went up one when nobody followed. But, hey, whatever, I'll take it. We did go up one subscriber on YouTube. We are now at 504 on YouTube. So thank you very much there. So, of course, shout out to all 41 followers on Twitter. Shout out to all 305 followers on Twitch. Shout out to all 504 subscribers on YouTube. And, of course, a massive shout out to all 50. Of my Twitch subscribers, gonna be a little bit harder. Money is very trying and dangerous times. I really appreciate it. it's going way above me on the Call of Duty. Um, it is just so fantastical and magical. I can't believe anybody be willing to uh, give any sort of money to somebody like me to mediocrely at best play Ponza or any deck for any reason. Maybe just think I got a nice smile. I don't know. That's very nice of you. You think I have a nice smile? I think I got a decent smile. You know, I don't have any rotten teeth or nothing. What's up, Gage? How you doing, man? Um, you know, it's always bad whenever you see a guy, like I see a guy at work eating something, and you can tell he's enjoying his meal. He's enjoying his food, and all of a sudden you just see him just clutch his jaw. He's like, mm, mm. You're like, oh, what's going on? He's like, mm, my teeth. You're like, oh, Jesus. You know, luckily that doesn't happen to me. At least not yet. Uh, uh, you know, uh, smile that melts hearts? I hope so. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, that happens. You just gotta have a natural smile. You can't force a smile. I always like, whenever I force a smile, I always like to make sure I have a prominent double chin. I don't know why. I've always enjoyed doing that. Just looking as shitty as possible when I have to force a smile. Um, so yeah, guys, I'm real tired. You know, I'm getting up at one in the morning uh pacific time of course to go to work and such um you know so i've been up now with like four hours of sleep for about you know 15 hours 15 and a half you know i have to go to bed at like seven and hope to try and get about five hours of sleep so as soon as i get this stream over with i have to run out get a snack do a little bit of chores around the house, say goodnight to my wife, kids, and dogs, and start this whole thing over again. So bear with me if I fall asleep on stream. I'm very tired. Uh, this is not a new league. I am currently one and three in this. I fought, as you can tell, I did force game three in every one of my losses. Just not quite getting over the hump lately. This deck has really been struggling on MTGO. In paper, it's been rocking. But let's see if I can't win... This last match, I'll at least get a participation prize, and then I'll start another league. I did more testing um, with uh, 
various apps and 19 land still seems okay like adding one extra land didn't help the consistency that much if anything it hurt it sometimes all righty before i decide to mole or keep this hand to reveal my beverage of the day and folks i'm excited to drink this simply because one i've never had it before and two uh, i need this right now more than i even realized what am I talking about? I'm talking about a 12 ounce can of lemon lime prime energy drink. Like, funny enough, didn't the Metroid Prime remake just come out? And now we got this Metro, they've got the Metro, got this Prime uh, energy drink. It's really cool. I like this jet black top it has. It really stands out. It's a tall, skinny can. Um, yesterday I had the orange mango. Today's lemon lime. We all know the official start of the video is the beginning of that crap with my beverage. It's going to happen right now. Here we go. Oh! Man, that thing sprayed. I could feel all that mist going everywhere. Probably just soaked the keyboard. Malfunctioning soon, I'm sure. It's lemon lime, just like yesterday was orange mango. Yeah, I, I saw them, so I bought them. No, I'm going to keep this, obviously. This is a pretty good hand. Imagine throwing this back. Like, yeah, fuck this. Oh. Probably not very long in life, this, uh, this Arbor Elf. But you still gotta put them out. You just can't, like, just sit here. I'm not gonna do anything. But, you know, what can you do? It's probably my favorite full art land from New Capenna. It's still ugly, but it really stands out. Gonna be taking a beat in here. This mono red. Look at my blood moon's pretty bad here, guys. Oh. Lightning bolt. Just a swing for three. What? You're gonna hurt me so much worse. Uh. All right, that looks bad. Yay, more lands. I really appreciate that deck. That's awesome. See if I can even survive coming up. Doesn't look good. Does not look good. That was weird. Things disappeared for a second. Like, what the hell? Yeah, man. I never see anyone hardly use the new Manamorphos. I remember when the new Manamorphos art came out. People were really into that. Now everyone's gone back to the original. Wow. How about a Fury off the top so I can kill these things? Even though it wouldn't work, that Lavadar would save them. I guess that wouldn't work. Come on. What is that crap? I've only drawn land so far. Windswept Heat. Verdant Catacombs and Wooded Foothills, I think, are the land the cards I've drawn. Hopefully Clothes can help stabilize a little bit, maybe. Probably not. Just assuming critical mass here. A mass and critical mass. Looks really bad. Yeah, that's bad. That's four damage.
six damage. Eight damage he got there. He's got the lava dart in the graveyard. Uh, did nothing except play an Arbor Elf and a Clothus God of Destiny to lose. What? What happened? He must have a lightning bolt in hand. All right, I'm not even fucking around here. Just get the fuck out of here. All right, well, that was horrible. I never drew a non-land, so that's really particularly exciting. You know, people, you know, me included, maybe you're not playing enough lands. Maybe you go back up to 20. Uh, proof here that I've got too many lands sometimes. Oh, uh, I hate when that happens. I don't want to hide that shit. Come on. What the fuck? What the fuck? Dude, I can't fix it. It won't let me fix this. What just happened? There it goes. Is that where it was at? I don't know. Where are the cards at? Where are the hidden cards? Why can't I find them? I need my obstinate bay lots. What happened to the hidden cards? They used to, if you pulled over here, it would show them. There it goes. Jesus Christ, why do they have this? Why do they have hidden cards? Good Lord. Um, I guess Relic of Regenitus. Well, I might need Cinder Vines too. That's not half bad. One Relic. Uh, no, that's a mole. Uh, trash. Keep and get to praying. No gut shot, please. Nice. Uh, yeah, sure. Just play Season Pyro, I guess. Discarding Land and Fury. That's wrong. Maybe it needs to be Bayloth and land. I'm going to do Bayloth and land. Try and keep this Fury around. Yes. They bolt Arbor Elf. Cheese. Just a red spell be good here. Uh, that's definitely going under the bus. 
Uh, I guess both under the bus. That's a red spell. Clean up gut shot. More mutagenic growth. Hope they don't have either one. Yeah, victory. Now let's see how fast they can recover here. They have four cards in hand to my zero. That's always particularly exciting. It's going to be a light of the stage here. Yeah. They get Dragon Rage Chandler and Mistress Bobble. Sure. I guess now I need a... Uh... See, there, there's Mutagenic Growth. I guess now I need a uh... Endurance. Nope, just a land. Just a friendly, everyday land. Pretty much just that classic flood going on. I know, it's what everyone comes here for. I don't know why guys do that when I have a fetch land. It's just so strange to me. Like, they know I'm going to fetch. Like, it doesn't matter. It's just like, I have to fetch here. Like, I've got to get a basic forest. Get these season pyro tokens out. Like, you, you think they should wait. Oh, that's not bad. They probably got on holy heat or something. I wonder if they attack with all these. E six. Yeah, sure. Why not? I mean, Question Beast has Vigilance, so I, I, I definitely should attack with all of them. They have a Lava Dart, so they can easily kill Questing Beast with a Bolt and a Lava Dart. I figured that was going to happen. Yeah, they're definitely going to bolt the beast and then lava dart. What is this doing in here? At least it'll be taking, the questing beast will be taking multiple hits away from uh, me, I would assume. Okay, he's gonna bolt and then dart. He's setting himself up for I mean this is gonna go down to a one if he does that, right? I think. Because this is always three. So I guess he could do mutagenic growth, now he gets rid of it. 
He got rid of Lightning Bolt too. Okay, there goes. Yep. Again, endurance would be great. Am I just dead? You can do Mistress Bobble again. A couple times, right? It's eight damage. Oh, you just you can't do lightning, but at least he needs to pay what red. Got three. Yeah, you can do it two more times. That's ten damage. I guess he can just keep doing it, right? Because every time he does it, he gets to put another card in the graveyard. So one, two, three. Oh, I'm just going to do it now. Okay, I take nine. Probably just die here. I mean, the only shot he'll have like an endurance, I think. They get to draw three cards. I mean, it's just over. Like, what the fuck? Yes, the land. I love the land. I love it. I absolutely love it. Love it. So this is going to be a one in four league. It's back to back one in fours with Ponza. Try another league. See if I can even do anything. Just I'm just not being able to do anything. Like I'm just sitting here. I'm 46. I have I I have 14 cards out of the deck. The opponent has um. The opponent has uh. 30. 33 out of deck now. All right, just that's another one in four, another shit-tastic moment, another moment where you think about just sawing off your cock and balls and feeding them to hogs. Can't win a match to save your life. Maybe this league will be different. Doubt it. Piece of shit that needs to be shot in the head. Let's see how bad this one is. <coughs> Man, I can't even write right now. I'm so tired. Uh, mole. Keep. Um. I'm going second again. They have a thought season to get Utopia Sprawl. My hand's relatively dead. Um. I guess put a Sprawl on the bottom. Put the redundant card. It's an unknown opponent. Well, that is a Bloodstained Mire. There is no Thought Seize there. All right, time to get greedy. Time to play the Arbor Elf instead of the Sprawl. 
It's always more mana if you do it this way. It's probably Rakdos. No, no. This is definitely Murktide. Yep. Fresh League, same results, Gage. Not always is. Looks likely a dash Ragaman. No. Wow. No, it's not a misplay. You want to you always lead on Arbor Elf. It's just so much more mana. Oh, it might be Rhinos. Yeah, it's definitely Rhinos now. Well, if I went a top deck Blood Raid Elf and it didn't die. Right? Would have misplay then. Is this another ice? Jesus, sure. <laughs> I've seen this so many times from this deck. They just keep fucking icing you. It's obnoxious. All right, I would assume this is the turn where they play their uh, Violent Outburst. I think Blood Moon's even, like, bad against Rhinos. I guess it's not. What's happening here? Draw two, then discard two, make a treasure token? What? I mean, it still could be rhinos. I don't know. It was creativity. I don't know. That's a lot of lands. It doesn't matter if it's creativity now. Well, I guess it still does. What is happening over there? I almost kind of want to pillage this. Seems so dumb. I'm gonna try the. Uh... Man. Uh, I want to get rid of Chandra. I'm dead to a lot of things. I'm just barely alive as I speak. Yeah, I get a clock going anyways. Man, that guy's got a lot of lands. All right. I mean, I assume this is creativity. So, in your explosives. Uh, Cinder Vines, Magus of the Moon. I didn't see anything that would make them get it out of the graveyard. Focus your Giants, okay. Uh, man. 
Tendervine's even worth it. I don't think Pillage is worth it. Um... Huh. Chandra or Questing Beast? Yeah, I'll take out Chandra. Sure. Our land. Oh, Blood Moon. Okay. Nice. Fetch directly into a try land. That's always the best. How many times do they all get ice this time? How many times they ice me last game? Two times? It's always at least one icing somewhere. Okay. Works for me. Wow. I mean, if they want to spell Pierce or Utopia Sprawl, have at it. <laughs> sure. Hop, skip, and a jump. Look at this reckless greed. They must have another counter spell. Or another spell pierce. Do nothing. Is this a uh, nature's claim? Could very well be. Sure. Yeah. Going to play Cinder Vines and hold up Stomp. What's up, Bad Luck Junior? How you doing, man? Glad you're here. Yes.
Okay. I'm glad you're chilling. I'm tired. Got beat up by a mono red. But still playing here. Do I care about this one damage? Uh, what could happen here? I'll stomp it. Because I play another fetch land, get a dwarven mine. Draw to discard to make a treasure. My last stomping ground, damn it. I think I'm just going to die here this turn. I'm almost out of fetchable lands. So they're just going to fetch into the dwarven mine. And I'm sure they have. Indomitable creativity now. No, that's a run and six. They don't have any of the cycling lands. So they are, if they fetch one more time, they're out of Dwarven Mines. How much mana is this? Not enough to cast two. Um, I'm just going to swing at the player. See if he wants to throw his dwarf underneath that. They don't. Okay. Oh, we're going to play my stomping ground like an idiot. Oh, well. <laughs> I, I can already cast everything. I guess the only way I'll feel bad is if I... That doesn't even matter. All right, there's our last dwarven mine. Bloodstain Mire, okay. They found it. They top decked it. God damn, dude. Just fucking for real, man. Actually, it's a good thing I held. No, no, I can't. There's two of them. I have to discard fucking both. What? What happened here? What just happened in my chat? Everything's good in the chat. I don't know, it just showed like an error. Wow, well, I can't believe they top deck that shit, you know, motherfucker. But I just lose, it's just over.
Land, eh, season pyro. Not that it even matters, but you know, season pyro. What can you find? Probably nothing. Uh, a little bit late. Nice. All right. Didn't work at all. Didn't work at all. I never found one blood moon or max of the moon. Don't really know how that happens sometimes. I could try plummet. It's relatively narrow. But I could try it. Instead of questing beast. Or cinder vines. Cinder vines is good against like, you know, Fable of the Mirror Breaker, stuff like that. I don't know. I don't really give a fuck. I'm just so defeated. I just feel like shit all the time. Uh, sure. We'll try it. What is this? Oh. All right, well, here comes a blood moon for you. Um, yeah, I just want to fetch and shock here. This guy has to besage you. I don't need him, like, draining me of my basics. Boom. Yeah, that's right. Moon them. Get in there. Do what's clearly right. Another additional extra fury. I'll toss one fury in this forest. Leave up the bolt. Okay. Uh, kind of a waste of a bolt there, but... Whatever. Okay. That's right. Just everyone chant moon. I was looking at this thing you can buy at like Fred Meyer's electronic department. I'd have to like turn my lights off. It was like an LED like switch or something where I could have my lights off whenever I cast Blood Moon. I could just turn it on and it would like be like a crimson red color. And it seems pretty sick. Wow, I have two bolts. Uh, swing for one. And then I'm just going to hold up here just to try and kill shit. Hopefully the, the son of a bitch doesn't find, you know, and then I can make pyro tokens. I'm trying to use my mana as effectively as possible. Maybe this is wrong. You know, but I'm, I'm just going to go for it here. Use pyro, even though they probably have fury. No questing beast action here. I like that. Uh, swing for three. Clothus. Speed up that clock. Uh, I'm willing to stomp here. Another different Blood Moon. E Prismatic Ending. Swing for three.
play the Bone Crusher Giant. And disrespectful end phase double bolt. One. Two. Yeah! <laughs> Disrespectful double end phase bolt. That's what I'm talking about. Two separate bolt. Well, probably the first bolt made him mad, and then the second bolt just really got him seething. Right now, he's mm, this son of a bitch. Kill me with blood moon and season pyro tokens. I planned that out the whole game. The whole game, I was ready to win that way. I'm a genius, baby. I have a high school diploma. Yes. All right. Get on in there. They play beside you. Oh no. Pardon scales. All right. Four mana, but two lands. The worst is an Arcbound Ravager. Uh, the Welding Jar. I figured there was something fucked happening there. Uh, I gotta pay two to kill that thing, plus they have a Welding Jar, so it's just... It's not good. Um, but I don't mind a Blood Braid here. Perhaps I can find a Pillage. Come on, Blood Braid. Uh, sure. We'll just cast the Bone Crusher. And swing for three, I guess. Ugh, that's horrible. Gonna bolt this right now. Make him use the uh, welding jar. No, they didn't. I think I'm blocking that. Now, if I can top deck pillage here, it'd be an amazing win. I could... Well, I guess it still wouldn't be that good. Pick up.
in my last forest. Play Blood Braid. Lightning Bolt. Four four. <clears throat> um, looking really bad here. Just gotta find the pillages. Well, now I can find Besagual work too, because the welding jar is gone. Oh my. I don't give this thing trample. <coughs> Does it have to block both these? I mean, it's horrible. There's just no way I can win, but because if I don't block, they just sack, and it just it, it's horrible. Yay. It's not even really brain power. It's just. It's just doing constant bullshit. Just, I don't even think these guys a lot of times even really think about what they're doing. It's just, you know. They're just, you know, putting, just adding counters to things. There, there's not a lot of thought process. So, I mean, I just lose because I can't block this. I can't block everything. So I got to stomp it. They just sacrifice. Doesn't seem like a big brain deck. I mean, how hard was it to play this? And then just keep playing non... Just play, keep playing artifacts. Keep putting two counters on it every turn. How hard is it to play Arcbound Ravager? A card that's like 15 years old now. Almost 20 years old. Like, come on, guys. I just sacrifice. Yeah, I just can see there's no way to win there. Uh, Cinder Vines, Force of Vigor. I don't even know if it, Injuring Explosives is good. I guess so. It should be good against, like, the one mana. Um, Pillage is super good. Endurance is hella bad. Uh... Questing Beast is okay. <clears throat> um. Not really sure how to side here. Probably Chandra's no good. Too slow. Do something like that. I have no idea. Not every game is difficult. Well, yeah, I mean, sometimes I just win easily because, you know, I Blood Moon them. I'm not talking about Hardened Scale. I'm talking about anybody. 
lot of people argue that my deck, you don't require any thinking. You just throw down a Blood Moon on turn three or turn two, and uh, they win. You win, you know? I mean, they're not wrong. There's a lot of times where that just happens. I remember Arcbound Ravager like destroying standard. All those uh, affinity for artifacts were just so bad. Like, like Magic the Gathering literally almost died in like the mid 2000s. Like the Kamigawa sets were super extremely unpopular, combined with how unpopular and how broken affinity was. It was just horrible, man. It was so bad. Like, so fucking bad. All right. Blood Moon even great against them? I don't even know. They probably don't even care about Blood Moon, right? Just name Arbor Elf. Yep. Fuck. Wow. That's awesome. Getting my two legendary planeswalkers. Swing for one. Get in there, Arbor Elf. Yay. Where's that basic forest at? There it is. They're ready to rock and roll now. Okay, a pillage is good. Short target artifact you control. Okay. I mean, I guess we just minus one on this, right? What is this shenanigans? Is that nature's claim? Oh, it's a legendary shit. I didn't even realize that. Uh, going for one. I did not know Zabaz was a legendary. That's my bad, crew. That's my bad. What greed, though?
Hooray. Okay. <laughs> um, swing for one? I mean, it's just a 1-1. One -one. I don't even know what what's trying to happen here. Just kill the Renin six in response. I'm holding this pillage for some a little better than a pipping needle. You know, I could be wrong. Oh, yeah, I guess you can only do one damage to Ren. But they already took a damage. My army of one ones that literally that's all they can do is be one one. That one might be worth pillaging. Or just killing with uh, Renin 6, I guess. Dude, that's just way too many fucking lands. What is it, two? I'm going to lose this race to these Mishra's factories. How sad is that? I think I'm just going to block with Arbor Elf. I, I mean, I'm going to lose the race. I hope you know you just find a uh, a blood moon here to stop these things from coming at you. You know. That might be worth pillaging. No more fetchable lands. I'm just gonna die to these. Like I can't, I cannot find uh, anything to do. I, I literally cannot find anything to do. That is horrible.
We're gonna top deck something good. I wish I saved pillage for. Yeah. <laughs> There we go. There it is. There it fucking is. God damn, dude. Not that I can really do anything to Arcbound Ravager, but still, you know? I mean, come on. I was going to lose this game so fucking bad. And, and I just need, like, a Force of Vigor. You know, I just need one. I just need a card. Blood Moon is slightly, maybe, helpful. I'm not sure. At least it shuts off. You know, yeah, he should fire up the Mistress Factory and eat it with Ravager. I'm close to dying here. He's just got to find, like, one more artifact, I think. Yeah, another Ravager will do it, man. Another different Ravager is pretty fucking good. Again, a Force of Vigor would be amazing here. Even a Fury wouldn't be terrible. A Pillage. Is it possible to even survive? I mean, I pillage one Ravager. It just immediately puts the counters. You'd have to... This doesn't work because what will happen here is you pillage this Ravager. They sacrifice it. Put, put it on there. This becomes a 3-3. Three, three. They put it on there. Right? This extra counter. This counter goes onto this. It's a 4-4. Four, four. They sacrifice both these. It's a 6-6. Six, six. So, I think the answer is still yes. We need to, well, yeah, we still need to pillage an Arcbound Ravager. I think it needs to be the small one, right? So, when a creature you control leaves the battlefield, that counter something on the Ozolith. Beginning of battle. So, yeah, you, you kill this one. You don't want to kill this one, right? You kill this one. This one eats it. Comes a 2-2. Two, two. Also gets modular, right? So this actually could become a 4-4, four, four, a 5-5, five, five, a 6-6, six, six, a 7-7. Seven, seven. So if they find one more artifact, I lose. If I'm doing the math right. I guess I could I I guess I could kill the Ozolith. I don't think that's right. I think we gotta kill a Ravager. Just die here to just I mean, look, I have every bait, I have every fetchable land except my mountain out again. I think they have the math, right? Yeah, they, they just go modular. Yeah, it's a four, and they put two on there. It gets a five. Yeah, yeah, they got it. They got it. Yeah, yep, yep. So this motherfucking son of a bitch right here, top deck back-to-back -back Arcbound Ravagers. Can you believe that fucking shit? He top deck back-to-back -back Arcbound Ravagers to defeat me. I mean, it's just unbelievable. Look at how many fucking lands there are. I couldn't find one card to help me win. I couldn't find one. Look at this shit. Look at my graveyard. It's garbage. Like, there's not one season Pyromancer. There's another land that I can't even do. There's finding a Lightning Bolt that's way too late. There's another Lightning Bolt. There's a land. There's a Pillage. There's a Blood Raid Elf that finally I may be able to try and block. Just no hope, man. Just absolutely no hope. Just you just play this and you just you feel so miserable. You just sit there and you just die. I mean, you just die continuously. You just die, 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 die. Gunshot wound, gunshot wound, gunshot wound. It's just crazy. I mean, I almost feel like I could run through the south side of Chicago, you know, with a a, a massive diamond necklace and diamond rings on my fingers and survive a gauntlet of bullets rather than try to get through a league here and maybe win.
Upgrade my list. Yeah, sure. Always upgrade the list. Yeah, why fucking not? Everyone always fucking says that, except this thing goes 6-1 and one in the last paper tournament. I made top four RCQ. The last two tournaments in paper, it's gone 6-1. and one. It's gone 13-3 and three in the last two tournaments. 13-3. and 13-3. Three. and 13-3. Three. 13 three. Like, that's a terrible record. Except when I play online, I can't win at all. Pillage is not good. Well, it, it seems to work pretty good most of the time for me. What the hell am I else am I supposed to put in? Nobody ever has an answer. They're like, take out the pillages. Well, what good is Blood Moon then? Blood Moon, they just find... I, I literally... I literally... I literally tried an RCQ without pillage in it. Do you know how many times I died because I didn't have pillage? I'd Blood Moon them and they'd be holding a, a, a basic island. And then they... Or a base... I mean, you know how bad it was to lose the motherfucking Eldrazi Tron? twice in the same tournament because they just found um either waste or they are holding a expedition map and just you know got the waste and they only need one basic waste to beat you through a blood moon so no fuck that i tried fable the mirror breakers too slow for modern it's neat once in a while but it's just a really shitty season pyromancer like, I think it's an amazing card in, like, Pioneer. And in Pioneer, it's still a little bit overhyped, I think. But, uh... And the sad part is I don't even have that many lands. I have 19 fucking lands. Like, how the hell is that too many? Sometimes, you know, I question if it's not enough, you know? I mean, I'm almost out of basics constantly. Well, I don't give a damn what other people play. Like, for real. If I gave a damn what those motherfuckers played, I'd be playing Murktide right now, and y'all know it. Uh, what the hell do we do here? This is always a scary thing. I think I'm just going to sit here and see if I can't run this endurance. This guy will attack me because I want to, I, I don't want to blood moon him right away because he'll draw a card. Of course, this could be an absolute, see, that's good why I didn't. Okay, here we go. Here we fucking go. Show me that hammer. Okay, it's coming. The hammer is coming. He didn't attack! What the fuck? Why would you not attack? What the hell is that? What? What the fuck? That is bizarre. That's crazy. How about a fury? Oh. What is this bullshit? Well, at least he's getting this hammer out of here right now. Sure. I will let you draw a card so I can pillage that. Wow. I guess we just want to pillage the Esper Sentinel. Right? Yeah. Yeah, why would you pillage that? Just pillage the Esper Sentinel. Draw a card. Swing for three. Why 
Plain Armor Elf. Let's see that second hammer. Yeah, there it is. Love it. Second hammer. Absolutely. Feel it in your cock. What hyper intelligent gameplay. Dude, it's just too much. You just can't handle this shit. It's just so fucking brutal. Every goddamn turn. All right, just doing some blocking here, it looks like. Let us see the uh, Shadow Spear. I'm ready for it. What is happening here? Clearly some sort of shenanigans, guys. Clearly some sort of fucking shenanigans on this Stoneforge Mystic. Yeah. Abs to fucking loot. What the fuck, man? Three in the top 13 in another land. You love to see them. You love seeing these lands. You just, my God. It is the best thing in the whole planet is to get top deck lands. Engineered Explosives, Cinder Vines, and Force of Vigor. That's what it's all about right there. Endurance out, one Clothes out. Chandra is pretty bad. Um, I don't even know. I don't even care. It doesn't even matter. It just doesn't. It just doesn't even matter, man. It just doesn't even matter. I mean, it's just a, so it's such a hopeless endeavor. It's just such a hopeless endeavor. You know, I mean, what do you take out? I mean, Questing Beast could be good. It has Death Touch. It just doesn't seem to matter. You know, that's the, that's the problem. It just doesn't seem whatever I choose is correct. I'm almost thinking about just side, not siding anymore. Just, just leaving the card, bringing the sideboard cards in and just leave, just have playing like I'm constantly playing against Mill or something. Because nothing makes sense here. We want the Bone Crusher Giant in. No, that's a mole. Can't play with that. That's horrible. It's also a mole going to five. I usually go to five. I, I, I remember looking this up one time, going through some records, and usually I mole the most against Hammer. I don't really know why that is, but it, we're going to five, and we're just probably going to concede after this, right? I mean, you're going to immediately concede. Um, I don't understand why on MTGO I can't win. I, 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 I can't. I, I mean, I literally can't figure this out at all. I mean, literally at all. Like, I, I, I'm so hoping that one day I'm just going to wake up and I'm just going to say, you know what? I, I don't need this anymore. I just don't need to play Magic anymore. I just, I, I but I can't. I'm pathetic. And every day I'm like, I'm going to play this. I'm going to try my darndest. And at the end of the day, you're like, did I learn anything? No. Do I feel good about myself? No. <laughs> then you ask yourself, what are you doing this for? You know, what are you, what are you doing this for, man? And I'll be honest, I don't know. I really don't know. So we all know what's going to happen, right? 
If I put Blood Moon on the bottom, they're going to have Urza Saga win through that. If I put both Fury and Bloodbraid Elf on bottom, they'll easily defeat me. So I'm going to put Fury and Bloodbraid Elf on the bottom. I don't like keeping Fury after I've mold. <laughs> We're just going to go with this. Really shocked there's not a uh, Esper Sentinel. All right, well, that's not half bad. E on one, potentially. Wow, a mana tithe. How about that? Holy shit. A mana tithe. I don't even know why they did that. Do it again. At least cut him off of Urza Saga. Uh, all right, Gage, thanks for stopping by. Glad you were able to enjoy something. Injured explosives on one. What do you want to bet they have? Um, blacksmith skill here. Uh, probably is going to die here then. Um, yeah, I definitely will pay it. I was assuming us die. I mean, he probably has another hammer. Sort of fire and ice. They put on that one. Whoa, bad luck, Junior. Thank you so very much. I really appreciate that. That's crazy. Who'd you gift that to? Oh, you just subscribed yourself. Well, thank you very much. Bad luck, Junior. I really appreciate that. That's really awesome. Does he have something else to kill me here? The answer is he does. I can't. Unless I top deck... Fury. Which I do not. Yeah, I can't I can't pillage. I can't pillage nor and do engineered explosives, so I lose. Um 
Yeah. Yeah. Just I I can't I can't stop this. Uh yeah, just concede that's another fine loss here. I mean, just I'm really tired of this. I'm really thinking about just not playing magic anymore. I'm just I'm having enough of this. I just I can't keep doing this to myself. I just can't. If I had a force of vigor, it'd be so good here. It'd be like insane. But instead I'm just I'm playing with garbage. I mean, I'm playing with literally shit that nobody wants to play. I think this might be the end of Magic for me after this Oakland trip. Like, I just, I don't want to do this anymore, man. I just don't. I just, I'm trying so hard for no reason. There's just nothing I can do. Pill pillage. And then I just die to this. Whoever Elf could, could cast could cascade into like what? I mean, just equip for zero, anyways, right? Yeah, I mean, it's just hopeless. Destroy the artifact. Don't have enough mana. Yeah, it's two mana to pop this, destroy this, and this. It doesn't matter. Um, I'm just tired of feeling like shit, man. I just am. This is swings, deals two damage, deals two more damage to me. So fucking bad. This is so fucking bad. I can do. I mean, it's just nothing I can do again. I hate who I am a lot of times when I play Magic. You know, I just, I sit here and I just... I just sit here and just feel like shit, you know? I mean, it's just, fuck. You know, I just have to run away. I mean, that's what I have to do. I just have to absolutely run away from the game. Like, I, I have to abandon it. I just have to cut cold turkey and and just, you know, honestly focus on the only thing that really matters in life, you know? I mean, you need I need to turn my job into a hobby, right? And, you know, I have a really rough job, you know, not the worst in the world, but, you know, I that's what a lot of guys do. They just, they give up everything, right? They give up fishing. They give up hiking. They give up magic. They give up video games. Because you just get too old and you just say, I'm just going to focus on work. My hobby is work. That is my hobby. And that's what I think I need to do because I, I don't really want to play video games. right? Other people say, well, you should play video games. I, I don't really want to play video games. I don't really enjoy that shit either. Sure. You know, I, I just don't. And it's just, it's frustrating, you know. There's just so many things you could do with your life, but I, I just don't find anything to do with my life, you know. And I wish I could just say, oh, you know, having, being married and having kids makes me happy. It does, but, you know, I want to do something where I can feel like I'm, I'm, I'm winning. I don't even know how to explain it. It's just horrible, man. Every day, just the struggle is just so fucking real. So beat up. I'm gonna play Clothis. Now like I need a mana with Ren and Six here. And the sad part is every day I think about magic and I think about like, oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be good. I'm going to, you know, this probably creativity again. 
this is going to be good. I'm going to have fun. I'm going to enjoy myself. And instead, I usually just find myself <coughs> um, really, you know, just really questioning what I'm doing with my life. You know, how can someone be as successful as me, right, feel so bad about themselves all the time? You know, I don't have money problems. I don't have health problems. I don't have... Um, you know, any sort of real problems in life. My biggest problem is Magic the Gathering. And multiple times in my life, I've tried to get away from Magic. I, I've, I've tried desperately. I've been like, I'm not going to play. I'm going to pretend that it doesn't exist. And in the end, I, I start feeling like shit again. Because, you know, I'm just like, well, I gave up. I, I couldn't compete. I, 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 I'm a coward. I, I'm too stupid. You know, all sorts of shit. And it's just, sure. It's just, so this is like rhinos then? It's just really frustrating. You know, and what do you do? You know, how do you, how do you, how do you solve this problem? And everything, I, every time I think I've solved the problem, like, oh, you know, I'm married now. I have kids now. It just doesn't work. I just continue to feel shittier. It sucks. You know, I just I just want this to stop hurting so bad. I just don't know what to do, you know? See, they have another violent outburst. I don't think they play it now. I think it's right to block. So I can go to six mana. I would assume this is another violent outburst. I'll be shocked if they don't have one here. Brazen Borrower. They didn't have one. Fury. Yeah. All right. I got my own fury. It's gonna be a pretty nice hit. So 
probably three at Ren, two at me. Yeah, we'll take out. We'll take out their Fury and the Brazen Borrower. Endurance. Yeah, no subtlety. All right, now to see how many more crashing footfalls they'll find. Already used one. What do we have here? Two and a generic? Wow, suddenly a Merc Tide, a 3 3 Merc Tide. Okay. All right, that's interesting to say the least. I didn't see that coming. Uh, sure, eat Ren. Uh, I guess I'll just fetch away this last mountain. Mm, probably don't want to do it that way because I cascade into Blood Moon. Come on, Bloodbraid, bolt that fucking Murktide. Season Pyro? I mean, fuck, I don't know if I want to use that. Damn. I mean, they are holding up as well, like, um... Like, you know, like they have a violent outburst here. I'm going to say no. And then swing at everyone. Wow, they didn't have a violent outburst. Crazy. No, oh, they're almost dead. Another different Murktide. This one is also a 3 3. Okay. Obviously, I'm not going to hit my own graveyard with this. I 
I got a pyro anyways. I'm just gonna discard this land. All right. So funny enough, rhinos have been siding into in with blood moons. It's really bizarre. Obviously, I need engineer explosives. Like that's just an obvious. Um, but this one might be different because they also have Murktide. I mean, it's really weird. Um, I think Bone Crusher Giant's pretty bad. I think that's about it. Just injured explosives. Go for it. It's a little bit awkward, but we'll keep. Oh. See what they want to do here. I mean, they could easily teamer battle. Not teamer. Uh, teamer rhinos. They go for the basic forest, which makes me think they have it. Oh yeah, they're definitely going for it here. I think we just want to go like Bloodbraid Elf, Cascade into maybe Engineer Explosives, you know? I mean, I, this is one match where Cascading Engineer Explosives is pretty good. Because I just don't think Blood Moon really matters right now. <laughs> like I said, Blood Moon is generally not very good. What is that, Season Pyro? Okay. Uh, I'm going to discard Blood Moon and Arbor Elf. All right. Swing for three. Hell yeah, brother. Gonna double block it just in case, I guess. Man, if only there was a way I could fury these. So I do like two, one. Yeah, just not enough. I guess you can't even do that. What am I thinking? Yeah, fury can't do five damage. You see, they have another different Violent Outburst.
brazen borrower? Fuck. Yeah, sure. Okay. Resolve. Yes. All right. This brazen borrower is always a problem. I'm getting down to a, I'm gonna be down to nine blocking this rhino at least. Block it. Yeah, man, yeah. Absolutely. So now I need a top deck engineer explosives. At eight. The extra different special Utopia Sprawl. Gotta enjoy that. Uh, just nothing I can do here. Uh, just lay down and die, it looks like. There are some bizarre ways I can survive through the... No. Well, I guess I'd live by one if I block a rhino. Yep. All right. Um, yeah, I, I think I should probably take out a couple blood moons. I just don't think they're good enough. Um, right. Right. Because Team Orion is playing blood moon, right? Cause they just need red green to get their whole deck going. Sure. Why not? Seems like fun. Wow. All right. Get rid of fire and ice.
All right. He's in Pyro. Um, I'm just going to tempo and kill that thing. Just, yeah, pillage. And then cycle. Another different pyromancer. I didn't fetch. Uh, yeah, I guess it's just, uh, I guess I'll play this as a land. Play a pyro. Okay. They still don't fetch. Here they go. Now they're ready. Where are my engineered explosives? Like, that's this looks crazy here. Is I can't seem to find these fucking things. Opponent stares at Questing Beast. I'm going to swing with Questing Beast. They take it all. Oh my God. The Exile of Violent Outburst? Wow. They must have another one in hand. Or at the very least, uh, another Charlotte's Agent. Why is the opponent starting to play so slow? What's going on here? All right, I'm going to block. And then try to bolt. Take nine.
Fury be a really good find. Senior and explosives. I don't know, I win this. Um, I haven't top deck Fury. There's nothing else I can top deck. There's just like literally nothing else I can top deck here. It has to be Fury. Blood Raid Elf. All right, I lose. All right, another one in four. Another another one in four, man. I, I don't even know what to say. I, I just, uh, I don't know. I, I think I'm done playing for a long time, guys. I, I don't really want to. I, I just don't really want to play anymore. I'm serious. Like for real, I, I I just don't really want to play anymore. Um, I I just don't want to. I think I think I'm done playing for a few days. Um, yeah, that's gonna do it for me today, guys. Uh, I I don't want to do this anymore. Uh, that might be the last match you'll ever see from me. I got I got more important things to do with my life than sit here and lose almost every single game. Okay? I just do. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. I'm so sick and tired of feeling this way. I just need to move on with my life. I need to stop. I need to seek help. I need to find help. And the only way I can find help is to stop playing Magic. I think after Oakland, in two weeks, or a week and a half, I think that's it. I'm serious. I don't want to do this anymore. I just, I'm so, so, so tired of feeling this way. You know, and I try to play the top tier decks. I try playing Murktide, I try playing Rakdos Scam. I hated him. I wasn't any doing any better than I was with this deck. This is it. This is probably the last week or two of me playing. Unless something happens, or I just I suddenly feel better. You know, this is it. This is all I got left. I don't really want to do this anymore. I've had enough. I'm tired.
tired of feeling so terrible. I'm tired of being tired. I just want to move on with my life. I've got better things to do. Nobody cares. If I disappear from the internet, nobody cares. No one. Why am I even doing this? You know, why? I don't want to do this anymore. So, uh, shout outs here to uh, Thek Gage, Bad Luck Jr., uh, Manure Butt, the MTG Bot, and the um, Night Bot for Gimme Company. I really appreciate that. Special shout outs to uh, Bad Luck Jr. for another sub. I really appreciate it. <coughs> Excuse me there. Um, you know, I, I tried my best again. And it was a, it's just another horrible, horrible day. And, you know, I'm just, I, I have limited time. I mean, literally, I got to go to bed and try to get some sleep. Because I'm not doing well, sleep-wise. I'm constantly, I'm, I'm constantly kept up at night because of magic. You know, I, I just, I worry about it. I feel shitty about it. I feel like if I quit, I'm giving up on stuff. That's I've just wasted so much. I just I just feel so bad. I just don't know what to do when I when I give up. I have an Xbox Series X. I can watch TV. I can work more, you know, I can just volunteer for 12-hour shifts and work as many days in a row as they'll let me. You know, that may be what I need to do. I may need to just commit, like I said earlier, commit the rest of my life to working every day. Every day, just keep working. Every day, work 12 to 14 hours a shift. And try to work every single day. You know, because this magic thing, I just, I can't do it much longer. But I'm pathetic. And I'm saying this right now. But I'm pathetic. And I'll be here tomorrow. And I'll be playing magic, saying the same motherfucking things. I can't take this anymore. I've done this for too long. And wasted way too much of my life trying to be somebody I'm not. Trying to be a champion player. Sucks. I just don't know what to do anymore. All right, guys, it's going to do it for me. Uh, if you watch this on Twitch, please start following. Watch this on YouTube, please start subscribing. Giving this video a thumbs up. Um, you can also follow me on Twitter. I don't really know why. I don't even use Twitter. I just post shit on there. Like, I don't know what Twitter's for. I say that every day because I literally mean that. Like, I don't know why you need a Twitter. Like, what good is that thing for you? I just don't get it. Like, I, I just don't. Like, what is this for? You know? Um. But everyone, I I'll, I plan on being back tomorrow at 4 p.m. Pacific time for more Ponza action. I'm currently 1-3 in this league. Right? I won the first one, barely. My only win of the day. Yesterday I had one win. What was my win against yesterday? Oh, yeah, that weird Jun Shadow deck. Um, so 2-7 two and, two and seven in the last two days. Bad Luck Jr. says, cheers, bro. It's all good. I don't think it's all good at all. When it comes to Magic the Gathering, my life is an absolute train wreck.
as soon as I turn this stream off, as soon as I walk out of this room, I forget that Magic the Gathering exists, and it's a problem most of the time until I start, you know, being by myself and thinking about, you know, Magic. And then I start realizing, you know, I, I, I run into two problems. I start saying, well, things will turn around, things will get better. And I start thinking, why am I doing this? I should be doing something else. It's about anything else. I could be playing some sort of video game, and maybe I'd be getting some sort of value out of it. But I don't think I would, you know, because I've tried that. I've tried quitting Magic before. And it just, I always come back to it. And it's just the same results over and over and over and over and over and over again. And it's just, it's, it's painful. So guys, that's going to do it for me. Um, hope you enjoyed this garbage somehow. Everybody be safe out there. Eat some good food, drink some good beverage, spend time with your loved ones. A lot more important than this. I'm not doing well. I'm really hurting. I'm so tired. I've got a lot of stuff going on. And then I inject this Magic the Gathering stuff into my life, and it just keeps getting worse. And, uh... Have to keep trying, I guess. I mean, just gotta be a loser and keep trying. Someone's gotta take the beatings to make other people feel better, right? I mean, for every guy that's 8, no, there's a guy that's 0 and 8. And that 0 and 8 guy did his job at making that 8 and 0 guy feel good about himself. Right? I mean, I mean, maybe that's the attitude I need to take. Maybe I need to take that attitude and just say, you know, someone needs to lose to make other people feel better about their life. Right? Because like I said, outside of Magic the Gathering, I feel pretty good most of the time. I mean, yeah, I'm tired and, and I'm having, you know, issues trying to, get, you know, get everything done in my life right now. But outside of Magic, everything's really good. So maybe I just need to look at magic and just say, hey, man, I'm a fucking loser. And just let people beat the shit out of me so they can feel better about themselves. Because outside of magic, they probably have nothing. That's why they're playing the best decks. That's why they're spending outrageous sums of money to get the fanciest cards. You know, the, the, the highest print cards, whatever, the borderless showcase lands or whatever the hell they got. Maybe that's what I need to start thinking about and start saying I'm the guy that they go to the terms to beat up on and feel better about themselves because they got their job at like, you know, Pizza Hut or something and they can they, they're still living in their mom's basement or something. I don't know. Maybe maybe that's how I need to look at myself. It's just an absolute bottom dwelling uh Owen six player that's just there to help people that have real problems outside of Magic the Gathering feel better about themselves. Because if they don't have magic working for them, they literally have nothing. So maybe that's what I need to. Paper is going to bring back the confidence. We'll see. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Uh, hope to see you all here tomorrow, I guess. For more beans, we'll finish this league, start another one. Same thing we did today. Same result today, another one in four. Um, uh, you know, we'll just keep going for it. All right, everybody. Peace.